with everything going on and this being your first real experience with the team, has it been hard to adjust to the style of play and to learn everything that coach has for you guys? Uh, yeah, I would say that because, you know, everyone's coming from – all the newcomers are coming from different styles of basketball. You know, I'm coming from junior college, Carlton's coming from junior college, and the rest of them are coming from high school. So we all had different, like, you know, play styles and traditions and stuff we followed as players. But now you come here – and you got to learn, like, different schemes, different type of offenses, you know, coaches put in the motion. So we've all had to learn how to, like, you know, play, like, the K-State, like, style of basketball. So it, it's been pretty hard. But, I mean, they're on us, and they don't stop coaching us. So, like, it, it, it takes time, but you, you eventually get it and, you know, start to understand what they're doing and why they're doing it. And what would you say you've improved on most since getting to K-State? And what have you really grown on? Uh, so far, I would say, you know, I've gotten better defense, you know, the coaches, they, you know, they drill that, honestly, that, that's like our, that's our staple. And I've just became, you know, better just playing off like instincts and playing without the ball, really, because, you know, it always involves a lot of cutting and screening and stuff like that. So I've gotten better at that. And, you know, because I'm used to having the ball in my hands all the time. So I've gotten better at, you know, scoring when somebody else has the ball and, you know, me just playing like the easier simpler way hey Rudy uh, quick one from for me um, you, you come to a basketball program as a junior college transfer and you, you show up and you're one of the old guys is there a little bit of pressure to lead that comes with that now that you're one of the veterans on your brand new team? Uh, yeah, I would say there's a little bit of pressure because, you know, us being so young, I'm one of two upperclassmen on our team. So it's like I've kind of, you know, put that pressure on myself to, you know, be a leader right away and kind of be an instant impact guy right away. So, yeah, I've un but I also understand that I'm also new to this as well. So just as old as I am, you know, and you being a junior and all that, it's also my – my first go around with K-State men's basketball and, you know, playing basketball at this level and then the Big 12 and stuff like that. So I've, I've came to understand both sides of it. But, you know, at the end of the day, I want to be a leader and I want to help our team win. So I got to do what I got to do. And being a point guard, does that add another layer to your need to acclimate, learn everything very quickly so that you can point for other guys what they're supposed to do on the court? Yeah, because, you know, as a point guard, I'm supposed to know my position and know what we're going on and know also the other four spots as well. And I'm also supposed to be like a vocal leader and like the on-court coach. So, you know, it, I have to kind of learn our stuff a little bit faster. You know, the coaches are a little bit harder on me than they are on some of the other positions and the younger guys because, you know, they need that for me. And, uh, you know, that's what's going to help us be successful. And how good are these young guys? Honestly, the, when I first got here, I didn't know how good they were going to be, you know, because it's a, it's a huge jump for these guys. You know, they're coming out of high school to jumping in straight to, like, Power 5 basketball. But they're honestly all so talented. They all bring something different to the table. Since, you know, from the summer times, us working out and stuff like that, I've just been, you know, honestly amazed by each and every one of them. You know, I go up against Nigel a lot every day in practice because he's the other point guard. And, you know, he's honestly – so solid he's smart he's crafty Selton he's honestly just a beast and you know he's super skilled and he can do a lot of things on the court Davion is just like a space eater and he's so big and he just helps us both ways on the floor and uh, you know Luke got hurt but from the little bit I saw of him in the summer you know he was he was more than a shooter and I feel like people just thought he was you know just the guy who was going to come in and just shoot a lot of threes and stuff like that but you know he was slashing getting to the rim as well and you know, the other players, Siri, he's athletic, he crashes, he plays really hard. So, you know, they've all brought something different to the table. And, you know, I, them being freshmen, sometimes they don't play like they're freshmen. They, they're all really talented. Thanks, Rudy, and welcome to K-State. Thank you. I appreciate that. Rudy, you mentioned going up against Nigel in practice every day. I'm curious as to how you look at that in terms of not only the competition, but as 
teammates. How, how, how hard has it been in terms of the competition? How, how can it benefit, I guess, the team and both of you guys uh, with that kind of skill set? Uh, well, I mean, you know, we go at it every day, but like we understand you know, come next Wednesday, we're going to be wearing the same jersey. So, you know, like if I see something that like, you know, that he's, he may not be doing right or something like that, I'll tell him, be like, hey, this is how we got to do it. Or this is what you're trying to get off like a read or something like that. And, you know, he'll talk to me the same way. You know, sometimes I get a little confused with the play calls when coach starts, you know, calling like three, four of them at a time. So I, I'm like, Nigel, I'm like, what's the next one? And like, he'll help me out. I'll help him out. So, you know, we understand it's the common goal. But, you know, we also understand that we do have to compete and practice for us to get better and, you know, just to help the team. So This may be a little bit of a strange question because of COVID, but you selected Kansas State, I'm sure, for a multitude of reasons. One, of course, would be like the college life and that kind of thing. How frustrating has it been to kind of be boxed in with your teammates? Or has it been a good thing because there are so many new faces uh, maybe you guys have gotten to know each other a little bit better because of it. How do, how do you feel about that? I feel like it's been a little bit of both because, you know, honestly, if there was no COVID right now, we would be able to do much more and stuff like that. You know, guys would be able to hang out with each other. Sometimes we kind of just, you know, keep our space. But I also feel like it's been good because, you know, all we've got to focus on is just school and basketball, school and basketball. Because, you know, a lot of us really only, you know, We'll go from doing our schoolwork to we'll head to the ice facility. So we get to spend a lot of time with it ourselves. And before we started team workouts, we were always in the gym, like as a team, stuff like that in the nighttime. So I, I feel like it helped us build chemistry on the court and helped us, you know, get a feel for each other and all of our, uh, everyone's different play styles. Thank you, sir. Welcome. Thank you. Appreciate it. Any other questions for Rudy? Uh, he's got practice here in about 20 minutes, so I want to <laughs> yeah. anything, else, <laughs> anything else for him before we cut him off? Rudy, just um, when you first arrived here, Mike McGurl, he's the lone senior on the team. Just what type of leadership qualities did you see when you arrived here from him? Uh, the leadership qualities I've seen from Mike was, you know, he wasn't a guy who's really going to like, you know, yell and scream too much. He's more of a guy that leads by example. So, you know, he would, we'd be talking in the group chat, you know, making sure everyone's like staying in the gym, making sure everyone's working out and stuff like that. Mike would be the first guy at the gym. Mike would be, you know, he would stay the latest and stuff like that. And I don't think anyone has to tell Mike to, you know, make sure to go watch film or to go make sure you get to weights on time or make sure we're at practice on time and stuff like that. He's just a, uh, an example kind of guy he he sets the standard really and when I got here I kind of you know looked at him to see how things are done around here so we were together a lot in the summertime uh, and honestly he, he's a good leader he's not really going to say much and he's not going to yell I've seen him yell maybe once or twice but like he's just gonna just do it and you're you're gonna follow him because he, you know he's doing it the right way Uh, what about Dejuan and uh, Monty have impressed you as other guys that have been in the program a little longer than some of the some of the newcomers like yourself? Uh, Dejuan, he he, you know, he always impresses me every day because he's kind of just so versatile. You know, he's really a two way player. And he loves to guard. He loves to get after defensively, but offensively, you know, he's made strides since I've been here myself, the coaches have told me that, you know, he's gotten better at shooting the ball and stuff like that. But even since I've been here, I've seen like the evolution of him, you know, he, he shoots the ball really well. I feel like he can score at all three levels. Like he'll get to the rim and he can finish with both hands, both off both feet. You know, he's, he's a threat uh, at the three point line. He can make them. So you have to respect that. And honestly, he's just a competitor. So he, he's, um, he's gotten a lot better since I've been here and, you can tell that he's had a, like a year of college under his belt. So he's done really well. And then Montavious, he's just, he's just one of those guys you need on your team because he's so versatile. He can honestly switch and guard one through four. And I feel like defensively, Montavious is always in the right spot, you know, in practice when we're doing 
live drums, stuff like that. You drive baseline and who's there to meet you. It's Montavious. And like, I'm, I mean, he can just do so much on the court offensively too, because he can stretch it out and shoot threes, shoot mid range jump shots, but then he can also bang down low. He rebounds the ball really well. But honestly, what truly impresses me about him is just his ability to guard. He's so versatile defensively. It's, it's actually amazing. And, you know, right around the corner, uh, what is it like knowing with, with it being COVID, oh, COVID world and everything, knowing that you could maybe only have six or seven guys and still play a game? Um, how different and weird is that just as, you know, a basketball player that's always played with at least, you know, 10 guys to, off the bench? Honestly, the other day I joked with the guys, I was saying, I was like, wow. Because we had, like Coach Weber said, we only had eight or seven guys in practice. And I was like, damn, this is like a travel basketball team. But, um, you know, honestly, right now I feel like everybody just wants to play. So no matter how we get to play, I feel like we just want to play. So if we even got to play with six guys, seven guys, or eight guys, I feel like everyone will just be happy to play because, you know, we've been waiting so long. And Coach Weber always talked about if you're winning the weight. So I feel like we – I'm not going to jinx it, but, like, you know, we have a week to go. But we've been doing a good job with the weight. So I feel like no matter how it happens, I feel like we'll just be happy to play and be out there. What have you guys done so well to avoid catching the virus? Obviously, you guys must be very focused on getting to the season. Honestly, um, I feel like the coaches have done a good job of, like, you know, keeping us, like, under control and, you know, like, installing and preaching it to us that, you know, do the right things, like if it's a, like on the weekend and we get a day off or something like that, making sure we're doing the right stuff, teaching us how to go about things the right way. Like for me personally, I have been um, door dashing a lot. So like if I need to buy food, I've been ordering it through DoorDash so I don't have to, you know, really go to restaurants or like leave my apartment too much. And, you know, I feel like we've all just understand there's so much to lose right now. So we've been trying to do the right thing. You know, you, you won't see any of our guys going out and stuff like that and being out and about on, in town and stuff like that. So I feel like we just understand that there's a lot to lose and we've all worked hard to get to this point. So we want to, you know, have our season in play.